Hey everybody, I'm Noah from American Trucks and today we're talking to Dini about her Silverado. Thanks for talking with us today. Absolutely. So just to get everybody up to speed here, it's a 2003 Chevy Silverado 1500 with 20 by 10 inch fuel wheels that are hostage matte black six lug wheels the negative 24 millimeter offset. It gives the truck a very aggressive stance. For tires, she's running a 275-65R20, which is gonna be roughly a 35 inch tire. And those are Goodyear Wrangler all terrains. For suspension, the three inch spring spacers with the Ranchero adjustable shocks and rear Monroe Max Air shocks. So just right off the bat here, why did you end up with a setup like this? Well, um, I went on americantrucks.com and I was looking for new wheels and I seen those and I just had to have them. I didn't care what it was gonna take. I just had to have them. That's how I ended up with that. How are you using your setup? Would you say it's mostly on-road, mostly off-road or a little bit of both? Well, it's actually both. Uh, it's more, not, I wouldn't say off-road, it's like on the beach and a lot of on-road also. How would you say that it tackles that? So like you're taking it on the beach Beach. Are you confident in it getting down to the shore? Oh, absolutely. That's, it's so much better. With the wider wheels on it, it makes it so much easier to go through the sugar sand. I'm one of them riding by everybody waving, saying, hey, <laughs> sorry about the bad luck. All right, so let's jump right into the wheels here. Again, it's a 20 by 10 inch fuel wheels hostage in matte black, and it's a six lug wheel. You said you had to have this. Why is that? Why? Do, what do you like about it? I love that they're that they're so clean looking. They're they're black. They're everything on them is black except for just a few spots. There's some silver. My truck is white, and to me, it make, gives it an awesome clean look. Now these are a matte black wheel. Was there any particular reason you went with a matte black over a gloss black wheel? Well, the matte black I figured would do better where I'm located at. Going through the sand, it doesn't you know show as many scuffs as as the other ones do. So absolutely, I went with yeah. I went with the matte. Did you have any reason why you went with a fuel branded wheel? Like you know anybody that has them? Have any recommendations for them, or it's just what you found? Well, it's it's. I've seen some of them out and about. It's actually it wasn't just that it was the fuel that particularly got my attention. It was the the way that the wheel looked. You know, after I got them, I did a bunch of research on them, and it was just amazing. I got lucky on my pick, is what I did. The ten inch width of the wheel paired with a negative twenty four millimeter offset gives the truck a very aggressive stance. Why did you go with a size combo like that? Well, in all honesty, I don't know anyone who knows like uh, horses. You've ever seen a mare's ass in? It's real wide and it's just aggressive and it's mean looking. And that's that's what I like. Do you like the stance? I'm guessing it's yes. Do you, do you like this stance versus the stock stance? Oh, absolutely. It's so much better looking. It's amazing the difference that it makes. Now you probably won't run into problems too much with this question, um, just being on the sand, but are you happy with the sidewall size with the 20 inch wheel and a 35 inch tire? Like, have you ever been worried about whacking the wheel on something? It, honestly, I wasn't until I actually did it. You know, you got the extra well, the wheel out there, but I've only done it one time and it was nothing major. So I'm pretty cautious with it now. We have like real narrow side streets here. So I have to remember that when cars are coming at me, that I have to move over just a little bit more because I tend to get a little upset if you almost hit them. Okay, so next we'll talk about tires. Again, it's a 275-65R20, which is roughly a 35-inch tire. Those are Goodyear Wrangler all-terrains. How are you liking them? I, I really like them a lot. I was gonna go with the directional. I didn't like the way that the directional, you know, pulled the truck certain times. So, but the all-terrain, They've been really good tires. They've held up good. I haven't had any complaints with them. You would recommend Goodyear to anybody? Do you have any any ties to that brand? Some people are super loyal to their tire brands. No, I just I, I just want a good uh, tire that's going to last and and you know serve its purpose and not have to replace it every couple of hundred miles. Now, why did you ch end up choosing a 35 inch tire? Why did you end up going with something bigger or smaller? You settled at a 35. What was the motivation behind that? Well, it just to me it just the 35 was just the perfect fit. It's just the, the right thickness and the right width. I mean, it just looks perfect on the wheel, you know, because I looked at the, the smaller ones and they just, man, I didn't like them. And the bigger ones were just, to me, too oversized. And I didn't want to go too much higher than what I went. I just, I really liked the way that they look. And, and to me, it was just the perfect fit. So why did you end up going with an all-terrain tire? I mean, you, you were on sand, but are you doing a lot of highway driving with it as well? I do a lot of pulling trailers and stuff. So, and 
I have to have an all terrain to make it on the highway, especially here because it rains a lot and then we get sand or mud on the road. And I need something that's going to be able to keep me on the road and not have me spinning around out of control with the trailer behind me. So would you say these tires drive nicely? They're nice and smooth. You're, you're happy with the road manners with the 35? Yes, they drive smooth. I don't get a lot of road noise. I don't get any vibration. They they just, I like the way that they ride. Would you say they are they tend to be quiet? Because I know some, some uh, really big tires really sing on the highway. How would you say the volume level is with these? It's really quiet. Compare, I really thought that it was going to be a lot different. To me, they almost look like they've got the little knobbies all over them to make it louder, but they're not. They're very quiet. Did you end up needing to calibrate for a larger tire or is your speedometer wildly off or anything like that? It was already off by five miles and, and all it did, it just, it stayed the same. It honestly stayed the same, so. Do you think it feels, you know, a little bit more sluggish? A little bit less responsive to mashing the pedal or? Absolutely not. I think it's better. It sat down so low before and it had that little lean to it that it just felt like I wasn't going anywhere. Yeah, now I can push the gas pedal and I'm going. And now let's move on to suspension. It's a three inch spring spacer with Ranchero adjustable shocks and rear Monroe Max air shocks. So what was your motivation to go with this setup? The front shocks with the adjustable Ranchero, I went with those because sometimes you want a rough ride and sometimes you don't. I want to be able to have, make that decision and, and change it if I want to. I did the air shocks because pulling the trailers and stuff with the front end lift would kind of jack the bottom, the back down too much. So I went on ahead and went with the air shock so I can air them up. So you chose a three inch spring spacer in the front. Why'd you end up with a three inch lift instead of something like a shorter leveling kit or just straight up going a six inch suspension lift? Well, the six inch to me would have been too much. The three inch, I liked it because it was just, you know, standing and looking at the truck, it just seemed like it sat down so low in the front end. I wanted it up, but I wanted it, I didn't want it up too high. And the three inch, it actually worked out perfect. I was told that it was too much, that it was gonna be way too much. You're not gonna be able to do it. Well, I did it and it looks really good, I think. So do you have any rubbing like at full lock or over bumps or anything like that with the 35? Very little whenever I turn, if I, if I have to turn really, really sharp and it just barely, I can just barely hear it rubbing on the floorboard. So would you say that you're overly happy with how it came out? Do you do you step away from it when you're going into the store and you're like, that, that looks nice? Oh, absolutely I do. I come out of the store and I tell people, hey, you see that truck over there? Doesn't that look good? I love it because it just looks, it, when you got it, just the right amount of each, it's just a clean look. You could have mud all up and down it and it still looks clean. When you're on the sand, how would you say the wheel and tire and the suspension setup you have handles that. Have you ever had any difficulties or you just plow right through and you're good? No, I just, it just putters right on through it. Uh, you know, before I had some, I had, it actually had 22s on it before. I got stuck all the time. I put these new wheels and tires on there and it just goes right through it. Not a problem. And with it being such a small truck or so light, you would think it would get stuck more. But with these new wheels and tires, I don't have a problem in the world going through it. Now, just looking back over your whole build, um, is there anything that you would do differently? And do you have any plans for the future? I would have done a little bit more research so it would have went a little smoother whenever I was trying to put it all together. The only thing that I have planned for the future is I'm going to put a little bit of a lift on the rear end now. So and I'm thinking, I'm thinking maybe about an inch to a two inch uh, spring lift on it. I, want it. I just want the rear end just up just a tad bit more because when I got my tailgate down, I can I don't even have to jump up on it. I can just like step, raise my leg up and step up on it now. And it just, to me, it seems funny, but it, it still looks good the way that it sits, so. Let's just go over everything again. It's a 2003 Chevy Silverado 1500, the 20 by 10 inch fuel wheels, hostage matte black six lug wheel with a negative 24 millimeter offset gives the truck a very aggressive stance. For tires, it's a 275 65R20 Goodyear Wrangler AT, which is gonna be roughly a 35 inch tire. In suspension, it's the three inch spring spacers with the Ranchero adjustable shocks and rear Monroe Max Air shocks. Thanks for talking with us again. And for all things Silverado, remember to keep it right here at americantrucks.com.